Hello everybody, welcome back. Fly tying with me, Jonas Andersson. Um, today we're going to tie um, a pattern, uh, not a pattern, but a style requested by one of the viewers. So I'm going to tie a salmon, a classic salmon fly with a mixed wing. Uh, in this case I'm going to do one uh, according to Hale, how, how he did it, and uh, it's going to be the silver grey. So uh, let's begin. Okay, so let's begin with the fly and uh, I'm gonna do as always a two-part video uh, So first I do the body then uh, uh, The next I do the wing and finish the fly So first of all we need to have oval sil silver tinsel in uh, extra small Oops I didn't secure the tinsel properly so let me do that before I start So there we are. Now using a blind eye 5 hook, a bit large, but I wanted to frame um, a mixed salma fly for myself. Together with the married, the same pattern. So I think that would be quite nice frame and as mentioned I tying the silver grain if you hear any bubbling noises in the background it's just my mead that is uh, you know preparing itself I tied in the gut before just to make sure that uh, yeah I can shorten the video a bit so I'm gonna use yellow floss but before that I just gonna build up the, the body a bit not that much but at least a bit And there we are and I forgot to bring the yellow uh, floss so let me go and get that and when I'm tying the wing uh, or building it as well I'm gonna shift between the cameras so when I'm building the wing putting all the feathers together I'm gonna use the the wider camera so you can see everything I'm doing and then when I'm tying it in I shift to this camera Cutting the leftovers there. And uh, as always, I need to have uh, gloves for the silk, else I ruin it. So I'm on the gloves on. So 
So winding the silk backwards. just to secure the silk I use it to level uh, since I tied it with the gilt so now I can level up with the materials again and then I can remove the gloves so I guess this year is not gonna be any fairs I visit Corona and stuff, and then I want to spend the time fishing. So let's look forward to next year's fairs. So I just gonna level up here with the thread. Adding a light wax. Stopping here from before, I think it will go okay. Not the nicest one, but uh, it's gonna be okay. If I can get it to center properly. I can't. ugly one so I might save it for a fishing fly ah I'll show it to me so let's find the top pink I might pause meanwhile just to make sure the video is not too long so let's see if we can add this tail then. So I think I'm gonna use the black wax. Thank you. 
God. It's the Count Mount the Tail Day today. And everything is out of focus today as well. So maybe I zoomed in too much. Let me go out a little bit. There we are. So, tail finally there. That was a struggle sometimes, you know. Yeah. It's not easy all times, but all time. Yeah, it will do. It's not perfect. My video is a video. So, we need to have a few strands of. It should be unburied wood duck. But I want to have a, a bit darker tone to the flies. I'm going to use uh, pintail. Mm -hmm. and that's it. So cutting the leftovers. Then we have black curl. Let me see if they have any black curl here. There we are. Bags on the thread. And then 
wooden thing in the hood. Wrap a few turns. I think that will be sufficient. Tying in the handle properly. Secured, so I'm just gonna cut off the leftovers. So, next, next step silver tin cell. Well, silver tin cell in this case, since I'm using a quite large hook, I'm using a large. Back with the thread, adding the large silver tin cell. Tying in everything properly. around here I need to add the hackle so waxing the thread again I prepared the hackle already in the way and tying in and there we are so I'm gonna add a little bit white gloss just to level up the body White silk floss. Since it's going to be under the silver tinsel, I don't need any uh, gloves.
and there we are securing the thread cutting the leftovers waxing the thread then to the tin cell Nice wrap backwards and then forward again. Make sure not to wrap the hackle. It loves to be in, in the way. Passing the hackle. Now forward. Once again, I always use the dubbing needle, it's good for that purpose. There we are, tinsel body. So waxing the thread again, important. Since it's now time for the oval tinsel. Now 
throw some more wax to the thread. Time for the body hacking. Tight turns. Just after the silver tinsel to protect it. in, securing it. Looking good. Some more bags. Now it's time for the front tackle. So adding the front tackle wax thread. Just make sure to tie it in quite hard. Waxing the thread again so it's prepared. Now it's time for the front tackle. in place, securing the hacker, cutting off the leftovers. And that's the front of uh, uh, silver grey. So now we're gonna do uh, the whole mixed wing in the next part of this video. Uh, it's gonna be uh, interesting. I haven't done that in uh, quite a long time. So yeah, looking forward to it. So that's the part one done. Uh, how I do the, the silver grey body. Uh, in the next video we're gonna do the, the whole mixed wing and stuff it's gonna be very exciting and i'm gonna start doing that after i edited and uploaded this video so, so you have something to look at meanwhile um, i'm very very excited and um, the channel is starting to to move forward uh, uh, i love all the su subscriptions i get uh, the comments i get uh, it, it's just amazing, it's fantastic. I love tying and making this uh, media. So, uh, just add a comment if you're not subscribing, please uh, subscribe, it would be fantastic. And hit the thumbs up if you like the video. And uh, yeah, otherwise, see you in the next video. Bye.